Saturday, April 20, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1991 Volkswagen Vanagon. I don't have any video for you today on the Mercedes or the Subaru, but uh, I'm going to start a little series here on the Vanagon. Uh, this is a 1991 2.1 liter water boxer. I actually uh, did a series of videos, not a complete DIY, but kind of just a video blog of uh, installing this engine last year. A uh, very brief bit of background. Uh, this is a used engine I installed to replace the old one, which uh, had uh, low end problems. Bit of background. This is a used engine. I installed it last year uh, with unknown history, and I used it to replace an engine which had uh, bottom end problems. So, uh, it's been running pretty well, uh, although in the past year, or I finished installing it in last July, so it's about nine months now. Uh, I've only put a few hundred miles on it. And one of the reasons I haven't driven it long distance is, if you look right back here, you can see that uh, bit of coolant. And the uh, driver's side head gasket is leaking. Now, uh, of course, uh, for those of you who are very familiar with Vanagon's, you know that head gasket is a little bit of a misnomer. Um, these engines don't have a proper head gasket in the traditional sense, and once I have this all apart, I'm going to show you that. But um, bottom line, the engine's running pr uh, pretty well. Um, I'm not getting uh, uh, I'm not getting mixing of coolant and oil, which is good. But I do have a. Uh, a leak here at the outer water jacket gasket on the driver's side so uh, I tried a whole bunch of stuff actually to um, patch this up you can see some uh, I cleaned uh, I cleaned off the engine and I smeared it with uh, gray silicone uh, on the outside which did not seem to do anything and I tried a couple of different brands of stop leaks uh, um, Thankfully, I did not uh, clog the cooling system. Uh, the van is still cooling. It's still um, cooling system still working just fine. But I certainly don't want to uh, mess around with that anymore because uh, I've already dumped a couple of things in here and it's not stopped the leak. It did seem to slow it down a bit, but uh, it's not stopped. The only way to properly fix this is to replace the gasket, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that over the course of the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to be doing a series of videos on that. Um, so this is kind of the first video in the series. Today I'm really just out here to make a list of stuff I need to order. I mean, I know I need to order the gasket set. But then there's going to be other um, incidentals. Uh, uh, for example, I'm probably going to have to uh, remove this cooling pipe right here to get clearance to get the cylinder head out. Which means I'm going to need the gasket there. Um, all the hoses are in, are in great shape, so I don't have to replace those. But um, the exhaust is going to have to come out, out so I'm going to need exhaust gaskets and bolts. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be re replacing the cylinder head or uh, reinstalling the same one. I uh, certainly hope I don't have to buy a cylinder head, but I'm not opposed to it if I need it. I know that the uh, passenger side has already been done. Uh, you can't see it from this angle, but... Um, the passenger side has an aftermarket cylinder head by AMC, and um, I have touched the, outs the outer gasket, and it still seems soft and pliable, which means that was done in the not-too-distant past. Um, my guess is that this engine was retired uh, from service uh, uh, because uh, of the leaky driver's side gasket, and the owner didn't want to deal with it. So, I... I'm going to have to go ahead and replace this myself, and hopefully, you know, I can show you enough detail that uh, the videos will serve as pretty much a DIY for you. So, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.